Welcome to the second series of Quick Learning. Today we shall be focusing upon the essential ingredients of an FIR. When we talk about the essential ingredients of an FIR, the first and foremost thing that comes to our mind is that an FIR has to be registered with the officer in charge of a police station. Second, that an FIR shall relate to a cognizable offence. Now, cognizable offence basically relates to all those offences which are punishable with an imprisonment of three years or more and which are generally a bit on the serious side of an offence like murder, theft, robbery, equity. It is important to note that not only the offences under the Indian Penal Code are cognizable in nature, offences under any special law of the land are also cognizable in nature. The third essential ingredient of an FIR is that it has to be in writing. Now, for instance, if the FIR is not in writing, the police officer has to reduce it to writing. Now, in the leading case of State of Bombay versus Rusty Mystery, it was held that whenever we are talking about an FIR, although there is no definition provided under the Indian Penal Code, but any information recorded under Section 154 of the India of the Code of Criminal Procedure relates to FIR, that is the first information report. Now we come to the contents of an FIR. When we talk about the contents, the, uh, the ingredient that should be there in the content of an FIR is obviously the place where the incident has taken place, secondly the date and thirdly the time. All these ingredients must be there in the FIR when it is recorded with the officer in charge of the police station. Any FIR recorded with the officer in charge of the police station is of immense evidentiary value under Section 157 of the Indian Evidence Act 1872. 